What's going on, everybody? I'm with Joe from Shooting Gallery, New England. Well, you rebranded, right? Just Shooting Gallery. Just Shooting Gallery. Just Shooting Gallery. And he's in Houston, Texas, visiting me. We just went to Collector's Firearms, and now we are going to head to Academy. Oh, you can't see it. Well, anyway, there's an Academy right here. <laughs> We're going to head in and see what they have as far as ammo, because everyone is, is telling me, oh, man, there's plenty of ammo, plenty of ammo, plenty of ammo. Let's go look. Let's go look. Hopefully, they're not playing music too loud. And we can see, but welcome to Texas, Joe. Let's Thank go to you. Academy. Joink. Joink. All right, so we're making our way over to the gun section. Look at this. They got some knives. They got safes. Some air rifles. Christmas is coming up, guys. Okay, our first end cap. Blazer ammunition. And uh, it's full. Yeah. All right, so, man, this is full, full. Check this out. Right, Joe, what do you think about the ammo supply here in Houston, Texas? Because when I'm looking, it's not not too terrible. Not bad at all. We got some home defense, regular ball. I would, well, I wouldn't white box. But. We got federal with that. Forty-five out, one hundred and fourteen dollars. One hundred and fourteen dollars. Look at that. For not two hundred rounds of forty-five ACP. You know that's not a terrible yeah, deal. Not bad. And look at this. They have, I think this is Privy. Oh no, oh, this yeah. is Monarch. Oh, they're getting shipments of Monarch in. I've never shot Monarch. Monarch is a great shooting guy. Uh, shoot, so 200 rounds for 74 bucks. Not, not too bad. This is new production. And what I love about this, it comes sealed up in this real thick plastic. So if you just wanted to keep it, bury it in the backyard, stick it in a closet, you don't have to worry about any kind of moisture or anything getting in there. But there's quite a bit of this. Fourteen dollars, man. I that other one's eleven dollars. The the blazer's cheaper than this. I do a blazer all day. Five five six, two two three. All right, as we're looking at all this ammo, they have a lot in stock. Check that out. Razor blade throwing cards. And remember guys, Christmas is coming up and I have been using one of these SOG keys forever. This makes the absolute best stocking stuffer. And I rant every year about how cool this is. I buy a lot of these every year. Don't buy them from Amazon because those are fakes. Buy the real deal at a retail store. Like this is probably my 15th one I've used over the last probably 10 years. And I love it. I absolutely love these SOG key knives. I use them every single day all right joey <laughs> okay. what do you think about academy it's pretty cool uh they had a lot of 6.5 cream on 
I know. Every time I go there, I'm even during have, the ammo crisis, they had a lot of six five Creedmoor. I'm gonna have to pick up a six five because all I see is six five, and it's pretty affordable. You can get it for like twenty five bucks a box. I think that's pretty affordable. I was gonna say that sounds pretty expensive to me. I don't make that Big Joe money. I don't make that money. Though. All right, man. Well, as you guys can see in there, their ammo was they had a lot. And um, there's a lot of doom and gloomers out on the internet, on the YouTubes, saying, oh, there's ammo shortage, ammo shortage, ammo shortage. But, I mean, come on, this is just a regular retail store, and there was uh, quite a bit of ammo on the, the shelf. Mm -hmm. The problem is, the prices suck. So, right. all right, guys, thank you so much. We're going to get some pizza. And let's do it. Let's go do a pizza review. Yeah, pizza review. First and foremost, I want to thank Joe, formerly of Shooting Gallery New England, for making a guest spot on my video so i'll put his information down below in the description check him out it's cool dude and uh yeah so as you saw there was a plethora of ammo on the shelf now look i only concentrated on the major calibers like nine millimeter 45 556 and 223 and i gotta tell you that blazer brass was a pretty good deal so and there was a lot of it there was a lot of nine millimeters so here's what i think happened so here's what i think happened I think people got a little spooked. There were some rumblings about an ammo shortage, and those who could go buy ammo went and they bought a little bit of ammo. And there was like a tiny ammo shortage. But as you saw right there, Academy Sports, downtown Houston, Texas, had a bunch of 9mm on the shelf. And that's kind of the litmus test I look for is 9mm. That seems to be the caliber that's the most popular. And when that's gone, then you know something's wrong. But you know what I did not see? I didn't see any 762 by 39 None. So that's not a good sign for all the AK guys out there. So here's my advice. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Look at your preps. See where your holes are at. And let's try and plug some of those holes. If you're short 9 mil, kind of get some 9 mil, 5.56, five, you know, stock up a little bit where you can. Also, look at your personal preps. Food, hygiene, very important. Uh, water, how much water do you have? And your neighbors and have those conversations with your neighbors also the holidays are coming up it's a great time to chit chat with them and remember if your neighbors aren't assets they're liabilities and nobody wants that so have those tough conversations now also really quick i just want to say thank you so much to my channel members here these guys really help the channel and i i appreciate them so much i don't think they know how much i appreciate them if you want to be a channel member below this video there's a join button click and join any support will be greatly appreciated. Also, check out one of these videos here. And don't forget to subscribe down there if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please remember, we're all in this struggle together. Till next time. I don't think they know how much I appreciate them. If you want to be a channel member, the... Duh.